Hey YouTubers, Team Warriors United here doing a deck profile for back to back second place dinos with Ryan Gaskins. First, second place was in Fargo, North Dakota, 31st of March. Second one was on April 15th. So, coming in both regional second place. So, he's going to be giving us his deck profile and then he's going to be giving us his matches and his experiences with each of the match and each tournament. So, here we go. How's it going, YouTube? So let's get right into it. Um, three over raptor, three conductor, three drolling lock, three ghost ogre, two ash blossom. Um, I do run a lot of the hand traps. This is a going second build. You just want to stop your opponent with the no TK. Continuing with the monsters, <clears throat> the one over Tex, uh, two giant Rex, two baby. One miscellaneous, one gamma seal, one dogaron, and one come on guess. Uh, main deck into the kaiju package uh, came in clutch all day. If you don't open the hand trap and they make their boss monsters, just go ahead and kaiju over and keep playing. <clears throat> That's it for the monsters. Now on for the spells. Three fossil dig. I actually didn't get the supers until after the regional, but they're super pretty. The only good card in this new OTS pack. It's a pretty card. Looks nice. Uh, three of the field spell. We run two gold sark, two twin twister. This deck loses the back row. You have to have ways to clear that back row so you can no TK. Uh, two terraformings. We run two of the double evolution pills. With all the hand traps, this card is almost always live. And it's searchable. And it's searchable with the one over text. One dark hole. One Foolish, and one Slumber. This is actually the same exact main deck build as the uh, second place in Fargo I got. The only thing I really changed was my, which my side. Um, we'll go with the side deck next. Like I said before, this deck loses the back row. Three MSTs, uh, three Cherries, and the funny thing about the Cherries targets was I was just really worried about the FTKs. Um, in this format, so I side the Supreme King and the Master Diamond for the Gemini FTK, the Electromite for the Pendulums, Macabre for Invocation, Buster, and Toad. It, like half my extra tank yeah. goes to Cherry's targets, but, targets, but you can't complain. I actually ran into an Infernoid BA player, and as I'm holding up my, my extra deck to the crowd, I'm like, do you guys see a B? you guys see a Dante? I have all these boss monsters, no Dante, it was very sad, but. No, no Dante. Um, 2DD Crow, this actually came in clutch against the Inferno BA player, I banished his Barbar, came down to 300 life points, he could burn me for game next turn. And then the uh, third Ash. I don't like maining three Ashes, it's, I think it's not very good in this format because of Pet Magician, it doesn't really hurt Pet Magician, and uh, you definitely want to see against Trickstars. You definitely right. want to see against Trickstars. Well, so, now for the extra, uh, the MVP, Double Logia, Psalmsaurus, it's just insane, it's just insane. Uh, I run two Link Monsters, Decode, and Underclock. Uh, this card is clutch and enables OTK. If you put a uh, conductor right below it, you can lose them down. 3,500 attack, it's pretty insane. Tornado Dragon for the pen matchup. <coughs> Rag Zero. Uh, also came in clutch all day. People don't realize it's a dry move that lets you draw. Yeah, they lose their attack. You just activate, destroy, That's right. draw one. Draw one. Uh, it pairs really well with Lost Roll, which drops all non dinos down 500. Uh, Babuska, Dweller. Dolk actually run me my uh, round eight game. It was amazing. Uh, I never went into Cowboy for game or Super Dreadnought. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this. You can overlay two conductors and burn for 2,000. Yeah, it's a lot of damage. It's a ton of damage. Uh, Diamond Dyer, if you ever need to get rid of just rid of one back row, the Utopia package, and the one Castell. But otherwise, uh, that's it for the deck profile. What's uh, what's the card that you go into the most from your extra deck? Oh, uh, definitely, definitely Logia. Logia. Definitely Logia. Right. It's um, <clears throat> after you after you break their board with conductor leaving them with almost nothing. You go into a Lagia. It's really hard for them to play over a Book of Eclipse and a Solemn Judgment. Gotcha. All right. Do you want to talk about your rounds, matchups? Yeah, so uh, first round was Herald Perfection. Oh, but before I start, um, 
<clears throat> so I wanted to say there was eight rounds at this regional. Um, I went seven to one, and of the seven rounds I played, I two my opponent six times. Yeah. So for for Altoona, there was an eight round, and for Fargo, it was a seven it was, round. Yeah, it was only a seven went round. X one on each one of them got second place. Yes, sir. It was okay. a great time. Um, for this for this regional, I played Hero Perfection first. Trickstar's round two, which uh, the Trickstar player actually ended up going X1 and getting third, third, third place right behind me. So that was pretty cool. Uh, round three is Pen Magician. Round four is my only loss, which is World, World Chalice. That deck makes crazy, crazy boards. Yeah. And I wasn't ready for it. Uh, round five was Pen Magicians. Round six out of nowhere was, a, was this awesome Blue Eyes player. He ended up getting uh, fifth place, I believe, actually. <laughs> Did really well with the deck. Right. Awesome guy. Round seven, Infernoid Burning Abyss. Just these crazy, crazy uh, decks at the top tables. I wasn't ready for him. And uh, he he stopped me game one. Game two got me down to 300 life points where I came back. And then game three, I, I made a pretty big board. You couldn't overcome yeah. And then my final round, I played Pen Magician. And... Honestly, this deck has a fantastic matchup against uh, per, uh, yeah. Pen Magician. It's just it's it's phenomenal. So, otherwise, overall experiences. Uh, it was a great time. It was a great time. Had a lot of fun. Had a lot of uh, really good friends there with us. I'd like to give a shout out to um, my buddy Nick Stetson, the Universal Standard. He let me borrow some ash blossoms for the tournament, which I desperately needed. Uh, my friend Dylan got us a cheap hotel. Where's deck that? testing with Where's Dylan at? Where's deck Dylan? testing with, with Michael <laughs> Crilly helps me learn his pen call matchup. Here's Michael. And of course, uh, to John Moore for putting this on his channel. Thank you, House of Champs. Otherwise. It's been a great experience. So. Yeah. Uh, future events? Yeah. What's the I'm, next one? I'm actually going out to California uh, here soon for an internship. So, so I'm hoping <laughs> to go to San Diego and Los Angeles, and if I can make a top eight out in Cali, that'd be phenomenal. Go to Nash later and try to make a day two. Will you continue to play dinos? I think so. Yeah. I, uh, I could see maybe um, Double Evolution Pill getting hit because it's being splashed in other decks, but otherwise the deck is fairly balanced. Uh, Conductor is a pretty balanced card. Takes, takes, <laughs> takes two dinosaurs to, to make, and that's hard. You know, Most decks don't really even run dinosaurs. So. Yeah. It's pretty fair, boss. Right? That is true. Well, just like to say thank you and uh, good luck in future events. Thank you. Uh,